welcome to the next segment of the charging system. These uh, people have a lot of problem all the time and I'm going to show you how to solve that problem, how to diagnose the problem. And it's a very simple to diagnose the problem. Okay, we're going to go through all the steps how to check it. Okay, in that case you need a battery, 12 volt, a good battery to check the charging, how it's charging. Okay, so for example, you're having a problem just like if your battery giving you the problem but it's from your alternator so you want to distinguish the two of them okay so we're going to do we're checking alternator now not the battery so we're going to see how your alternator is charging the battery okay you get a multimeter connect it to your battery negative positive check the volt you start the car and then you see how much is charging okay if it's charging 14 volt, 13.9, 13.78, okay, the alternator seems fine. But now what we're going to be doing, you're going to put some the headlight, the first in your car, see how your voltage drop, or it's regulating the voltage. So now what happens, you put your meter is still there and you see your voltage drop from 14, 12, it's fluctuating between 12, 11, 13. Okay, so what you're going to be doing now, First thing we're gonna check is the belt. Because most car has a tensioner, the belt tensioner, you're gonna achieve the tension is good if they, they have enough you know pressure on your belt. So your belt is not loose and you know flabby flabby like shaking. Okay, you establish that your belt is good, it's have good tension. Because what happens in some cases you have some manual adjustment that you have to just adjust manually. So sometimes it's not tight properly and the belt is loose. So the alternator is not getting enough RPM. So what it's doing is it's sliding on the belt, it's slipping. Okay? And that's a noise that if you can know right away that if your belt's slipping, it's gonna give you a screeching sound. Sometimes it can start in the morning when you first start your car, you can hear that screeching sound and after for a couple of seconds the sound go away. Okay? So that's one system you know that you have a loose belt. Or your belt is no good. So in two cases, when the belt making noise, it could be that the belt is loose, or your belt is no good. It's too dry. Okay, so so if you have a loose belt, you have to try to tighten up that. And if that is your problem, your voltage is gonna be staying the same way. It's not gonna fluctuate and jumping around. It's gonna be staying in the same, almost gonna drop a little bit, and it's gonna go up, but not too much, like from 14 to 11, 14 to 9. That's you know you have some fluctuating problem or your regulator is not regulating your battery, the charging properly. Okay. So now what we're gonna do, we already put the light on, we're doing the load test to check your alternator. And the alternator is not charging properly. So the belt is good, everything is good and it's still not charging properly. So what you have to do? If you cannot do it yourself on some alternator it's very difficult to take it out. You have to take it to garage and you will have to put in a rebuild alternator. Or some case the alternator is not charging properly if you have a dead battery if your battery is not holding charge the alternator is working too much because in a good battery system the alternator work starts the battery the regulator stop charging so the alternator have a time for to take some take a break you know just like we need break so the alternator works. but when you have a situation like a dead battery you're going to end up replacing alternator because while you're going to shorten the life of your alternator you can burn it so that's why it's good for you to make sure your battery is very good and your battery is all in the charge same as you're checking your battery for you know to replace so if your battery is good it means you have to change your alternator okay because it's, it's regulate the certain volt and then it stop and when you volt when you car use that power out a certain level it can be 10 volt 11 volt because everything there run on 12 volt so when it get beyond that your alternator is going to start charging okay so it's on and off charging on and off on and off but when your battery is dead it's going to be continuous charging because you have a dead battery and you should know when you have a dead battery because in my other video i explain how to check a dead battery because it's either replace a dead battery or you replace a dead battery and an alternator is going to be twice of the money 
So remember, a good battery, the alternator gonna last the lifetime, the lifespan that it's supposed to last. But with a weak battery, every time you drive, you have to boost it up and the alternator keep working, so we need to replace it. So now we're gonna go some noise. You're getting a noise coming from the alternator. Okay, most time it's your bearing. So this is a bearing that for alternator, for pulley, stuff like that. But this one is you take a smaller bearing. So it's something like this, it spins. But with all the temperature that going on around that engine, your grease can burn out, you know, your grease and by turning all the time, you know, so it's gonna be no grease inside, so you have the the bearing inside the balls they are running on each other with no grease, so what happens you're gonna have a noise there, you have friction. So your alternator could be good. But if you know how to do it yourself, you just open it up, replace your bearing, and your your alternator is ready to go again. Okay. In some case, if you open your alternator and it's not charging properly, you can change your regulator. Regulator is not regulating the power, your regulator can be burnt or it can be it's the contact because most time the contact is on the regulator so it's not getting the contact, your contact is worn out or something like that because contact is on the armature between the alternator turns, it's like a brush that so after a time the, that contact gets worn out and it doesn't make properly contact so that's the way you, you fix an alternator problem and an alternator noise problem and make sure your belt is very stiff and you have good tension on your belt so that is the charging system of your car and you need a lot of RPM for this to get up to, to voltage so subscribe to my channel